My name is Angela Oero, but I also go by the name Lasha Angela. Um, I run two organizations. I'm one of the founding partners for Sister Speaks Global and Hills for Pads Foundation. Sister Speaks Global focuses on female events and using the digital media space to amplify women's stories through podcasting and just like blogs and using the, our social media to share the stories and celebrating the women that are doing great things. And also with the Hills for Pads Foundation, it's focused a lot more on raising awareness on the challenges around period poverty. And uh, we go to schools and sometimes also interact with women groups. We support them with menstrual products as well as menstrual health education. I'd say my circle of trust like varies. So I guess both work-wise and personal life, my mum is like number one, um, I guess with my sister as well. Um, those are like my first. Then I have, I have pockets of friends who cover, so some are very like, we'll talk about business or work or land or like investments. And then I have friends that I can do that with, but more also on a spiritual level. So we'll pray together, talk about how we wanna tackle this from a spiritual level. And then obviously you've got the older generation in terms of work I so have a mentor and then I have like my cousins who have introduced me to women who are willing to support in one way or another from either advice maybe from a financial point of view. So I do have different pockets of people that I tap into for a certain particular reason. I think it's our interactions. Um, some, like so for instance with my mentors, because of a program that I got connected with her um, and I chose her because of her background is very similar to what I want to achieve. I think I would say like I listen to what this person has to offer and if I feel like I have a particular challenge around that particular area then I, will, I feel like they would resonate and give me the kind of advice. It's like I'm in business, I can't go get advice from someone who works 9 to 5, they're not really going to understand my challenges. So it's just identifying who feeds into me positively and can give me straight advice and not, you know, giving it to me without trying to sugarcoat it, in a sense. My source of admiration is myself in 10 years. That's one, because I felt, and I still feel, a lot of us admire certain women or men, but we don't know how they got there. We don't know if they stole, cheated, who knows how they got there. And the only person I, I know who got to where she got is myself. So I'd rather just identify who I wanna be next year and work towards being that person. And when I get to that stage, I then I re-identify. But not to say that I don't have people in my circles that I think, oh wow. I think one part in short, starve your distractions and feed your focus, that's it. Um, I think it just summarizes everything. You just need to be very cognizant of the fact of what is distracting you and deterring you from achieving your goals. And you have to put yourself first. When you're feeding your focus, it means putting yourself first. And most people say it's selfish, but we need to remove that word selfish. Putting yourself first is really, really important because not, not many people will do the same for you. So stab your distractions and feed your focus.